Advances in genealogical DNA testing have raised existential questions for many, but not much compares to the experience of Albert Perry, an African-American man from South Carolina. Perry let a relative send in his DNA for analysis, but when the testing company tried to track his Y chromosome, they simply couldn't. Further research revealed that Perry's Y chromosome came from a lineage that broke off from other species about 338,000 years ago. Researchers eventually linked Perry's DNA to other men in a village in Cameroon, leading them to speculate that modern humans and a since extinct species interbred in Central Africa hundreds of thousands of years ago. How did the different types or races of, of man, if you will, appear on the planet? Uh, by hybrid mixes, and that's how all the races came about, through mixings and crossbreeding. The high type, the advanced type, a mm-hmm. prominent nose, a prominent brow, a well-formed chin, and good brain. They lived side by side with the most primitive type of man, the type that lived in the trees and sometimes scampered along on uh, all fours. But there were mixings, and that's how... Uh, the uh, next type of race came about. And that's how all the races came about, through mixings and crossbreeding. Right. Yeah, because I never bought into the story that someone could walk out of Africa and then over time, uh, the skin tone changes, the facial features, and uh, the structure of the hair changes. (laughs) I, I never really bought into that. Yeah, and that's what we're taught, and that's what the textbooks say, but it's false, and we need to understand what the true history is. It wouldn't hurt a paleontology to adopt the uh, hybrid model, because then they could go back to work and figure out which races mix with which other races, and they could still do their things and their charts and their textbooks and their lectures. Um, Right. It just is a matter of dumping, dumping Darwin. Now, I would like to touch on a little bit about the idea of uh, out of Africa. Out of Africa, the African Garden of Eden um, is has become a strict part of the Darwinian uh, paradigm. Uh, this is the uh, where uh, the professors and experts tell us that all mankind came from came from Africa Uh, I don't believe this is true this is only about 25 years ago that the African uh, Garden of Eden the African Eve uh, became popular and became a fixed idea uh, in uh, Darwinian evolutionism Uh, but it's it's not true and as you say uh, it would be impossible for the African to migrate out and go to Sweden and turn white, to go to China and turn yellow. Those are fairy tales that they're still teaching in school. Right. And, and as you say, the bottom line is that the only thing that can make a change to someone's uh, innate nature, the physicality of, of skin color, eye color, hair texture, uh, body type, is mixing. 